And welcome to your Go Market update charts of the day for today, Wednesday the 8th of March. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Well, look, overnight we saw the US market sold off, giving up the previous day's gains. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell was in front of Congress giving a speech and answering questions. I made it absolutely crystal clear that the Fed were going to continue to be fairly aggressive, suggested even that the peak rate may even have to be altered. Markets obviously didn't like this and sold off subsequently with all indices in the red. US futures, somewhat surprisingly near neutral in Asian trading, but Asian indices are following that weak US lead. ASX is down around 0.9%. European equity futures are also pointing to a lower open and the VIX is still trading below 20, though did move slightly higher yesterday. The US dollar index not surprisingly broke through the short term range it's been trading in. It's now at four month highs. Gold, as a consequence, dropped lower back towards 1800 from its 1850 level, currently trading around 1815. Copper broke $4 to the downside and also fell significantly in excess of 4% on the back of that USD strength. Bitcoin fell further after last week's drop, nearing 22,000. That's an important technical level. And it's another busy day today. Lots for the markets to digest once again. We've got German industrial data out, ECB chair speech with Christine Lagarde and the US ADP jobs data all due. The Fed chairman is back in the House in front of the Finance Select Committee also again. I don't think there's going to be anything new, but... A continued hawkish tone is likely not to make markets particularly happy, one would suggest. A couple of charts of interest today, despite the general gloom and doom on markets today. Uh, on the ASX, we actually talked about Webjet at one of our lunchtime sessions. You can see there we've had a significant move higher. We have now moved into trend continuation. You can see we had that pullback there through the beginning of February to the end of and then subsequently we've retested this key level at 6.95 and we're now trading comfortably over seven dollars if we just take this out you'll see the potential significance of this move with this being the highest level really since the middle of the pandemic and lots of upside potential in this should this buying pressure continue also out of interest we are challenging the 200 ma on the weekly chart on the fx side of things we are looking at the japanese yen crosses the gb pound yen looks like the cleanest we can see this move down last night through 162 back up to 162.60 in today's trading this looks like a key level if we just take the chart back a little bit you can see lots of price action here and here so a potential move in the short term back up to test 163 and then that would put us back into a range that we've been in for the last four days before yesterday evenings drop so one worth watching undoubtedly Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.